You don't want to get physical with me. I'm I'll take you get, down. I'm not going to get physical. I'll sweep your leg. Threat, I'll sweep your leg. It's it's fake. It's a fake criminal record. Fake, fake, fake. It's all fake. Everything about me is fake. Show me your driver's license. Do you have one? Is that a requirement? You have, you have a driver's license. Are you ordering me to do a thing? Sir, I have a complaint to turn in. You are impeding the complaint process. You're violating multiple of my civil rights. Welcome back to the Dummy Kruger channel, everyone. Today's video brings us to Stark County, Indiana, where we find a man inserting himself into a police interaction from his own yard. I'm highlighting this particular video because a lot of the really large auditing channels have showcased this video claiming this was a bad arrest. Instead of looking at this video emotionally, I took a more pragmatic approach than my fellow YouTubers. I believe I use the appropriate facts and law to back up my claims rather than how anyone may feel about the situation. Please let me know your thoughts on this arrest in the comments below. Let's check it out together. Let me jump in really quickly. Right here is 100% perfectly fine in my book. This man is in his yard and filming his neighbor while she has her car searched. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. If you are filming the cops for transparency and accountability, why does it ever need to escalate further from this stance? Point your little camera at the interaction. Document any findings. Relay those findings to the appropriate entities, if there are any of course, and call it a day. To me, that is cop watching or auditing or whatever the hell you guys want to call it, but just don't interject yourself in the situation. Did you say he can do that? What's that probable cause to search? You can stand there. What's the probable cause? My dog. Your dog? Yes. Stay Does right. he testify in court? Yeah, I can. Can he really? Yep. You know, you can always rescind your uh, permission if you gave it. Why don't you send your dog in there to get it? Sir? Why don't you send your dog in there to get it? You can stand there. I know I can. You can stand there, but you're going to be quiet. No, okay? I don't have to be yes, quiet. You will be. No, I don't have to be. You will be. No. <laughs> no, I won't. Let me reiterate. Why? Why are you making yourself part of this police investigation? Let's try and play a different scenario out. What if you just stood there filming the police quietly? After it was over, you could either speak with the officers or you could try and speak with the woman who has been pulled over if she hasn't been taken to jail. You could submit a FOIA request afterwards for the police report. See if there are any body cameras or dash cameras. Once you're able to obtain all this information, check to see if they align with what you or your camera saw. To me, that is accountability and transparency. But that would also require work and probably fewer YouTube hits on your video. I'm certainly not holding my breath for that. So why don't you send your dog in there to get it? Sure. That's two times I've asked you to be quiet now. I won't. I don't have to be quiet. To me. You do. I'm asking. No, you to I stop. don't. 
disorderly conduct. You the understand the states, First Amendment? The statute states. Why don't you just do your job? Reasonable noise. Do your job. After being told not to do so, okay? No, that's, bull, that's bullshit. No, it's not. No, it is. It's bullshit. Look it up. It's disorderly pure conduct. bullshit. I'm not going to tell I can't you. Be, I will not tell you. I can't a third be disorderly time. on my own property. Yes, you can. And no, I will I can't. not tell you a third time. And if you are going to interject yourself into police situations, please try and know the laws. While researching for this video, I found in a lot of states he would actually be correct that you cannot be disorderly on your own property. However, in the state of Indiana and per the disorderly conduct statute, you absolutely can be charged with disorderly conduct on your own property, including in your own home. Piece of advice, instead of watching auditing videos from across the world thinking you have all the pertinent information, maybe dig into your own state laws. Once again, that would also require work and probably fewer hits on your YouTube video. I digress. Send your dog in there. Turn around. No. Turn around. Turn around and put your hands behind your back or this is going to get ugly. I'm going to put your phone in your pocket. I'll put it in my pocket. I'm going to put your phone in your pocket. Let go of the phone. No. Let go of the phone. Let go of the phone if you you're going to jail for disorderly conduct. You guys make shit up. You're making shit up. What's your name? What is your name? I'm on my own property. You're parked in my yard. You're I, trespassing. I'm parked on the road, sir. She isn't. And you pulled her over. Per Indiana Code 35-45-1-3, a person who recklessly, knowingly, or intentionally makes unreasonable noise and continues to do so after being asked to stop. I agree, it's a little vague, but let's dive into some case law to see what's going on here. First, these are all cases out of Indiana. I'm no Chile to Castro, so I don't use cases in Alaska or Mississippi to try to fight my case in Indiana. In Anderson v. State, the court felt the state presented sufficient evidence to support defendant's conviction for Class B misdemeanor, Disorderly conduct arising out of defendant's refusal to leave a business establishment when asked to do so several times in defendant's resulting verbally disruptive conduct. The evidence showed that defendant recklessly, knowingly, or intentionally made unreasonable noise and continued to do so after being asked to stop. Let's check out another case, again from Indiana. In Yowler v. State, evidence that when a police officer came to a defendant's home to serve a letter that barred defendant from the property of a public school, defendant exited his home, flailed his arms and yelled, used profanity, directed vulgar names at the officer, continued to yell after being asked to stop, and created a disturbance sufficient to cause his neighbors to come out of their homes was sufficient to support defendant's conviction for disorderly conduct. But in DeLay v. State, the court found the disorderly conduct statute was constitutional as applied to defendant because even though defendant's speech was political, when defendant screamed and cursed at America and Jesus as defendant protested his arrest following a citation for littering, the disturbance created interfered with police officers' duties and created a traffic hazard such that defendant abused defendant's free speech rights under Indiana Constitution Article 1-9. Have a seat. Indiana AFC, yeah. What, have what a is seat. that? Have mean? a seat, sir. F? Have a seat, sir. Can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. My legs are stiff. Have a seat. So in closing, looking at this in terms of the law only, I believe this was actually a good arrest, particularly since this has actually been held up by higher courts in Indiana. Is it a little vague? In my opinion, yes, possibly. And if this man feels the same way, put on your big boy pants and fight to change the way the law is written. Don't blame the cops. Don't scream tyranny. Go and fight for the change you want. If you don't do that, then quit whining and find a different hobby, preferably one you're better at. Thanks again, everyone, for viewing the video. I hope you find my breakdowns both entertaining and informative. If you do and would like to see more similar content, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting below. This has been a Dummy Kruger production, and I'll catch you on the next one.